Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Stonehearth with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a lot of menu screens so you can't really see what's going on. In today's episode, we have a lot to do, but before we get into that, we are renaming our Mason, soon to become a Potter, and you are, of course, Lily Potter. And yes, there were a lot of suggestions to call her Harry Potter instead, but this one certainly made at least a bit more more sense considering it's a female. So there we go, we have a Lily Potter and we have everyone else now renamed. And we already have 33 people. Yeah, we've got a lot of people right now and honestly, not many more jobs to do. Eventually you will become a warrior, but yeah, everyone's kind of accounted for. So what are we doing today then? What are our goals? Well, I would like to extend the wall. I would like to try and at least start building on top of this building. And I would like to build the new gong, thus summoning in stronger enemies and more loot for our, for our humble little village. Kind of forgot the name for, for village then and completely stumbled. Yeah, off to a good start. You see, this is why I always need to Google the names after I name someone. 1L, not 2. Never trust the comment section. I love you, but I don't trust you anymore after this incident as well. Ah, good, one of our merchants are here. Hello there, sir, how are you doing? Looking good, looking good, lost a bit of weight, I see. So, let's see, what can I sell to you right now? Well, the tapestries are all yours, enjoy, and honestly, here, take some of these, we do not need that much food. Anything else of value? Here you go, you can have some of those, and there's probably other stuff, so I'll be back in a second. Oh, just out of reach. Okay then, so let's get started. The very first thing we are going to need is the new gong, which of course is this one here, the elite gong, but that does require a higher level of blacksmith. Now the thing is, we don't need this right now. So when I said we need this now, what I actually meant was we need to queue this up. I'm not so good with the words, apparently. So we'll leave that there, and we will allow our new blacksmith to continue to level up, as I do want our engineer to simply stay as an engineer. I can't be bothered to keep swapping them. So the next thing I would like to do is move some stuff up here then. So, please move the forge. Yeah, how are we going to do this? What I'm thinking is... We could pretend like this is a major walkway in the middle, then have all of these off to the sides, each with a little mini wall around them, a little bit of clay or something, to look like they've at least been placed there on purpose, not just, well, how I'm actually placing them. So, let's put these two like so. How about like there? Give it some space. And then, let's go to design building, go to the slab of materials. Uh, do we want to do clay bricks? Well, very, 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 very soon, Lily Potter will become a potter, so... Yeah, let's do clay bricks. It's something a little bit different. How am I going to do this? So I'm thinking is... A small wall... Let's go a little bit further back. Congratulations, you finished! Well, yeah, I would imagine I finished, considering I put down nothing. Yeah, let's say that this... Is going to be as far as the wall can go. So if I put down that there, yep, that's all equal, excellent, it's always nice when things I've built actually do add up correctly. So what if... Okay. Don't know why that just vanished, try again. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Well. Well. Poop. That shouldn't happen. That never used to happen. Game, why are you so inconsistent? Okay, so I found out the issue. I was in slice mode, and for some reason that was causing me to simply not see what I was placing down, at least at this height. So as you can see, everything's working now, although I don't quite get why it was causing me to not see things. I had to reload the game, and now slice mode doesn't affect anything. There we go, 44 meters though, that's definitely not... I guess, perhaps, it was just underneath where I was building. There we go, a nice simple explanation, just... I didn't expect that to happen when I can actually see everything else, that's all. 
So as you can see, I was trying to place things pretty much everywhere all over the town. Then I looked down here and yeah, slice mode. So shall we continue from where I was just derping around? I think that would be a brilliant idea, don't you all? Because I do. Okay, so I've had a couple of thoughts then. So one thought I had was we could do a very regular wall over yonder. Wall material being made out of that, okay, that seems fine. And have this, like, here. Okay. And then we could have slabs building up to it, and then a sort of shelter above it. That would make sense, I mean, it doesn't actually rain in this game, but we can pretend that it does. That way, each area has a sort of shelter, it will look nice-ish, and we can always make it look better later, which obviously is quite a big deal. Now, what should I make it look like? I'm thinking reds and blues. Make it look a little bit more festive than just regular buildings. Then simply build this up as we would everywhere else. In fact, what we could do... Remove that, remove that, remove that, and make that the darker red. So that it has at least a bit of a pattern as it goes upwards. I think that would look quite nice, honestly. Didn't mean to do it like that. Oh my lord, the reverse button is now working. This game doesn't really have the whole consistency thing down. Like that, but obviously symmetrical. So, I'll be right back once I've got a bit of a prototype sorted. Okay, I actually really like this, except for the back wall. So, if we remove the, the back wall, we can extend this a little bit, and then it's just very similar to one of these, honestly. And then we can have some mini walls going from each of the struts, so that there's a more obvious entrance. And then, of course, we can move these around as we see fit. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, sadly, I can't just remove the wall because... This game doesn't like me, and yeah, there's no wall removal tool, including with a rice, so I've got to just go back, over and over, until the entire building no longer exists. Now this is very, very simplistic, but I think it would fit with the design of our village at the moment. So what we're going to have is three of these on either side, and we're going to go red, blue, red. This way, it will just look very, very neat, very tidy, and very efficient, which is kind of the whole thing with this village at the moment. I'm also going to take down the Valor and the Gong from here, and then place them perhaps over here or somewhere in here, and make a sort of park area. Have some seating, have some of the bird baths, and ultimately, just have somewhere very nice to look at. I think that's the plan for now. I also want to move this a little bit left, which is fine, because as soon as we're finished, we can simply save the design and then place it there. So yeah, I think it's going to turn out pretty well. All I need to do now is add the walling sections to make it look a little bit more structurally intact. Here we go, three of them have already been placed, I am now collecting these two, and then the fourth one will be placed, and then finally, we will go ahead and make the two blue variants in the middle. I think this is actually going to look pretty good, still a little bit crowded, I admit, but I do think it's going to look good. And let's just make sure I've placed these correctly, shall we? So... That should be seven, which it is, okay, and then let's do the other side as well. Ahem, ahem, thank you. Seven, excellent. It just looks a little bit off because of how these squares have been done. But yeah, everything seems reasonable, and that's three away, which it is, because each of these is two, so two, one, two, one. Okay, all good. All is good. Oh dear. Speaking of all is good, enemies trying to kill us. I mean, that's naturally what is good, right? Hey guys, move over to there. Let's allow the turnip shooters to help out a little bit, shall we? There we go. Turnips away. Shouldn't really focus on the big guys, but we have so much damage right now with these archers, all upgraded bows and everything. And of course, the two turnip shooters trying to help out as best they can. The one knight is looking a little bit bad, but not too bad. Okay, just kill whoever you want to now at this stage. Every time you hit them, they run away, so their damage is reduced per second, so just kill things. 
Hey, Holt is leveled. Excellent. Down goes their leader, and in the second... Oh, down goes their actual, actual leader. There we go. Glorious. How goes building? Building goes slowly but well. Whilst everything else is being built, we may as well get to work also planning this wall section. So, let's stop that there, like so, and put down our walls. That's the correct one. Excellent. And I'll just leave it like that for now. Oh, although that's a little bit weird. Maybe we should manually wall it up instead. Because otherwise, that little section there is going to be really annoying, and we're going to have a double door on the inside doesn't actually matter all that much, and now the undo button is back to not working. Well, fantastic. <laughs> I love this game, but my lord, sometimes it really stretches my patience. On the upside, the music that just started playing is really, really chill. Clearly it knows that I was getting irritated, and it's trying to soothe me. And honestly, it's actually working, so well done to you indeed. So, have I placed the wrong types of slab there? It almost looks like I have. Oh, no I haven't, it's just a bit of a lighting artifact. Okay, never mind, everything's fine. That's all equal as it should be, okay. So how did I do this exactly? So it's a three in the middle, then that. Okay, so it'd be best if I built upwards because then I could get a very, very easy frame of reference. Well, that seems reasonable to me, so let's put all these down. Actually, what I may do is just allow them to build this section, then I can come back and do all the crenellations and stuff later. Honestly, separating it into two separate building efforts tends to make it less prone to glitches and less prone to building errors, so I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Since the last section of wall, all I built was the actual wooden wall segment, then I built everything on top of it, so we're already mixing a couple of things. I don't really want to risk that. Have I done this? So it's just like this. Correct? No, it looks a little bit bigger than that, actually. No, it isn't. It's just, again, it's hard to tell until it's actually built, since the colour's different as well. Okay, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. We'll add all the other details later. So you, please, begin. Please don't make me regret doing the other stuff later. Hello there, Lily. Can you become our potter yet? Oh, because you haven't made the potter's cutter yet. That's the only reason. Well, hopefully then. Yep, you are high enough level already. In fact, way too high level. Make that soon and you can finally become the potter you were named after. Hurrah! Um, Lily? Lily is a ghost, apparently. I can't look at any of her stats. Can I look at someone else's stats? I can't even select other people. Huh. Well. I don't have citizens, apparently. I think I need to restart the game. Okay, good, it's now finally working out. So Lily, I think you need to be a level four mason, am I correct? Uh, yeah, a level four mason and you need the potter's cutter. You definitely now have the cutter, so I'm just waiting for you to level up and then you can become the, the potter and Happy Wheels can go back to being a mason and then everyone is pleased. Okay, everything seems to be going okay now. Even with the Notorious amount of glitches today. Hooray! We have a new person! So hopefully, they're going to be good for the military, because honestly, we have no other jobs really available other than just standard worker. As soon as the person actually arrives. I did press accept. Okay, there we go. For a second, I thought I'd press decline. Oh my lord, you are perfect for the military. However, you are a pessimist, so you are very upset. You're also a glutton, which means you eat lots of stuff. Um, you know what, though? Apparently that also gives you more resilience. Maybe that explains a bit of their resilience, too. Perhaps you have a bonus for that. I don't really know. Anything here kind of being boosted? Doesn't seem to say. Well, anyway, I'm going to just put you straight into the military so you can start leveling up instantly. Ta-da! 
So, we have one new person then, at least. That scaffolding is really annoying, and hopefully will be taken down soon, because I'm now placing the mace and stuff in this market stall, or the shelter, or whatever you actually want to call it. And there goes the workbench as well, and everything is good. So we have the potter's section here, we have our little tailor, and we have our blacksmith, and of course, as previously mentioned, we have the mason section. So as soon as all that's done, I will work on putting down the two blue ones, which I guess will be for the engineer and the herbalist, since I want the cooks to stay down here with the food, just to make things a bit easier, since eventually I will make some kind of eating area slash cooking area anyhow. Invaders, where are you? Okay, which one of you is the healer, if you do indeed have a healer? That would be you! Okay, good. Everyone, destroy the healer. Ooh, unless you're a healer as well. Hard to tell, honestly. Nope, warrior. So, footman, 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 mega boss. Medic, knight, and medic. Okay, so, yep, like I was saying before, focus on the healer, please. And they should level up our new guy very, very well. Whoa, you just took a lot of damage. Next healer, please. Okay, all of you gang up. The healers are way too far away. Thank you. Stop focusing on their tanks. You are acting like NPCs. I mean, you kind of are NPCs, but you're under my direct command. Just ignoring this archer. Okay, now, destroy him! Yay, yeah, you leveled up, well done. Yay, yeah, you leveled up, well done. And... Yay, yeah, you leveled up, well done. <laughs> Yay yeah, for having a high mind stat and quite strong enemies now. Um, do I want you to upgrade already? I could do with another knight, honestly. Yeah, okay, you'll be our new knight. Go ahead. I'm not going to wait for you all to grow, because honestly, we have way too many of you anyway, so there's really no point. It's just faster to plant them than cut them, then replant them again. Lily Potter has reached Mason level 4 at last. Okay, Miss Potter, there we are. You are going to be converted. There we go. You are now actually a potter, and our current potter, Miss Happy Wheels, you are going to deconvert back into a mason. A level 6 mason at that. Okay, so let's make sure our new potter's actually doing something. So let's have a quick look-see. Okay, still making bricks. That's absolutely fine. Anything else we want, though, from our new mason, our new potter? Well, she's only level zero at the moment anyway, so she can hardly do anything. I would like some of these doors. They're quite pretty. Just maintain ten. Now, hopefully, I can just edit this, and it should be absolutely fine. So let's place that, edit, and let's swap all of the reds for blues. So a deep blue down the middle, then a more regular red here and here. I'm also thinking maybe I should have brought that dark red all the way down at the front. I kind of like how it looks as it is, but yeah, because the idea was it was sort of going from the back to the front, so not quite making it gave it a bit of style, made it look back heavy, made it look a little bit more secure, but looking at it again, I'm a little bit unsure now myself, so we will find out soon enough. Let's just pause time so I don't miss anything. So all of these, let's go for... I'm thinking the lightest blue we have, and then we go with the dark blue there. So let's have a quick look-see at that. Oh wait, that's not the lightest blue. Um... It's hard to tell, actually, which one is lighter and which one isn't. Oh, that one is clearly lighter. Okay, that one is definitely lighter than this. Though, honestly, that's a little bit too bright, so I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think that'll look nice enough. 
And there we go, the two blue market stalls are now being built, and there's enough space between them all that we can very easily access this area still. Don't think I will use it for anything, but if I ever want to add perhaps some flags or something else to make this top section look a bit prettier, we still can, without them having to build too many ladders and stuff. Oh, hello. Yay, our knight is already level 2. Well done. Thankfully, the enemy seem to attack in waves rather than all at once, which is very, very good for us. Behold the power of having so many tanks and so many healers. Also, our blacksmith has almost leveled up now, so as soon as she has, we can put down the next level of gong, and thus, engage in even more glorious combat. Oh look, the wall's done. I didn't even notice that. Excellent, which means we can start making it look a bit prettier, but I think for now, let's just allow everyone to focus on up here. Our blacksmith is easily the happiest person we've ever had. Just look at that. They're very, very merry indeed. Actually, Potter should also be happy very, very soon. Oh, Happy Wheels is back to being overjoyed as well. So it's a fight between the two for the happiest person and Potter loving their job. So eventually you'll be happy as well. Excellent. We actually have some happy people. It's a very nice change. You will be for the carpenter and you will be for the engineer. Which does mean, though, the herbalist will be down here, but considering we have all the flowers and stuff there, it would make sense to simply place them. There we are. Oh, hello. Uh, what are you offering us? We already have those, so no. I know something we really need to build, so if we go into any of these crafting areas, we can see we can make the wall-mounted signs. I think each of these needs their own wall-mounted signs, so let's just put all of these ready to be built, and then in the carpenter, which is you, we need the blank version, which I think you make, right? Or am I going crazy? Yep, there it is, the wall-mounted signs. Build me ten of them, because why not? There we go, and then of course build me the carpenter version. Lovely. You there, I would like the mason version. Then we have the Potter's version, and so on and so forth. Although you can't make that just yet, you will be able to pretty soon. One of those. And then finally, one of you. If I've missed any, I will soon see. Hurrah! The blacksmith is now level 6, which means she should be making the decorative elite gong very, very soon. And let's see if anyone's finished their signs yet. It looks like pretty much everyone has. Okay, so let's place it like... Hmm, how are we going to place it? I think like here. It's a bit low, but the thing is, I think putting it too high as well will look a little bit silly. So I think that's probably the best. You're the mason, right? Okay. Then we need the engineer, which is you... The Weaver, which is you, of course. The Carpenter, which is you. And that's it, right? Oh, and of course the Potter isn't yet high enough level, but will be very, very soon, hopefully. Oh, although we do need some more dirt, so we do need to start digging out as well anyway. So let's go down into the depths, and I would like you to very much dig out all of this section. Because why not? Especially since eventually, if we want to, we could flood all of this, which will look really, really cool. And now it's time to put down the Elite Gong, so let's just put this down here next to the other turrets. Speaking of which, I really need to focus on levelling up our Engineer so that we can put down more of them, and we can start using the regular turrets, which are significantly better. 
So just make me loads of these. Ooh, baked goods. Oh, sure, I will buy you. There we go. Now we have some nice pies. And you've got a lot of money, which means we can sell a lot of junk to you. There we go. That's better. Some familiar-looking goblins start building huts near your town. And they've built it next to a crypt, which means they're going to be fighting each other straight away. That is actually kind of glorious. You recognize? No. Me don't know you. You saying us all look the same. Now that's goblinist. No. We busy, so we ignore you and go back to setting up camp. Why? We contractors. We in a union. We are the union party. <laughs> we make camp. Orc pay us. These orcs obsess with honor. Politics? New Khan. Or can. I always get that wrong. Soon enough, they send orc army here. And we need clean up again. I should have stopped trying to do voices. Oh, we think of great idea. You pay us instead, and we make no orc come. Um, no, I went to kill 300 logs. Screw that. Okay. Oh, there's the orcs. They spawned in instantly. Well, let's just watch for a second. Let's see if they do end up fighting the crypt first. They do. Okay, so that should weaken them as soon as the mobs spawn from the crypt. Which I think happens as soon as they actually attack the crypt. And if nothing else, it does mean that they've just sent the dogs on their own. There we go. The necromancer's out. If nothing else, they're all going to be diseased by the undead, so that's fantastic. Guys, uh, move up a little bit, please. Now go! Invaders approaching! We know! That's what we're fighting! Move as one! Cohesive unit. They don't seem to have any healers, so just kill whatever you can see. Uh, maybe focus on that dog, though. has, like, one hit of health left. There we go. Are these both knights? Okay, focus fire, please. You're taking way too long to kill these. Like, really way too long? Thank you. Okay, move up. Kill the archers, because those knights aren't doing much damage, but they are really, really tanky. Yay! Level 4 knight. Glorious. One more archer left and a couple of just... Are they warriors or are they builders? They could be both, honestly. Master's hat. Excellent. So now we can build the master's gong, which is the next level of fighting. But I think we'll do that next time. I've been playing this game for longer than I anticipated. Again, a bit like Oxygen Not Included, actually. I always end up recording way longer than I expect. And I'm getting a little bit tired. There we go. That was easier than the... Honestly, was it easier than the last one? <laughs> was it harder? It wasn't... If it was harder, it wasn't much of a um, difficulty increase. And there we go, we have all the signs up. We need some lights up here as well, so I will do that next time. But I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. So if you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows the Stone Half is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. You guys, back here. So much to do next time. Goodbye.